Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Hakimi bin Muhammad Murad And I'm going to simulate the AC power using watt meter using Proteus software So first of all you must need an alternator as the AC source So we need to put the power using watt meter so first we must pick the device so first of all i'm gonna pick the alternator as the ac source then for the value we know that the rms is 100 vac so we'll multiply by set 2 to get the peak value and i got the value for 141.42 for the amplitude voltage for the amplitude then for the frequency um, it is 50 hertz okay. then we need to find the resistor got our AC source and the resistor right here and then we need we need to find the watt meter we can find it in the instrument As you can see, both of the line here stand for current and both line from up here and down here stand for the voltage. So as you all know, for the emitter we must connect it in series and for the voltmeter we must connect it in parallel. Then we put the ground. So we connect it as usual. Then we connect the alternator to the resistor right here. Wrong. Connect to it to the alternator. Right here. So for the voltmeter, uh, you all know that we must connect it in parallel so right here we connect it parallel to this one now so it's done this is our circuit schematic diagram uh, oh before before we start running our circuit, we must change our alternator to the what? As from the lab sheet, then we can run our circuit. So 
so that's all for me so the first value for activity 1 for 210 value is 47.6 volt so that's all same goes on for the next value just same method thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so for the activity 2 um, the other component is just same as the previous activity but the difference is we must add the inductor into the circuit so the other component is just same just as previous activity so we put the alternator at the AC source then we change the peak value to 141.42 and also the frequency to 40 hertz ok then we find the resistor Right here, just same as the previous activity. Rotate clockwise. Right here. Then we find the inductor. It's the same as the left sheet. So this is our inductor. I put it right here. So we can make it um, series to series to the resistor. So the value for the inductor is 0 0.4 Henry. So we find the watt meter same as the previous activity. And we search for the ground. This is terminal and click to the ground. Then we just connect it as usual. So it will be easier to make it in series. Line we can add in. Yeah. So then we can add it to the AC source. Then AC source to the ground. So just as the same, just as the previous activity, uh, for this line and this line, it stands for the current, and this line, and also this line, it stands for volt. So we must connect it in series, this line, and this line we must connect it in parallel. So I connect it right here. This one right there. So this is our script for activity two. Just add the inductor, and also we change it to what? 
and for the resistor value is 210 volt. So yeah, this is our circuit for AQT2. Then we run the circuit. So the power, as you can see, the power for the first value is 35.1 watt for 82. So yeah, thank you. So hello again for activity three. The connection is still same as the previous activity. The difference is we must add the capacitor into the circuit. So the other component is the same as the previous activity. First, we must find the AC source alternator. We put it right here. The value is the same as the previous activity too. 400. 141.42 and the frequency is 40 Hz we find the resistor resistor put it right here so the difference is we must find the capacitor to put it in series connection with the resistor Then the value of resistor so we find the capacitor we put it in series connection with the resistor so the value for capacitor is 2 microfarad for run for capacitor there right here then the other is the same as the previous we put the watt meter right here so I'm gonna try a bit different from the previous activity I'm gonna try um, a bit different connection no no connection but the wire I'm gonna try a bit different so you all not gonna be bored. <laughs> pretty... So we find the ground. Put it here. Then we connect it. This to the capacitor. Then the capacitor in series connection with the resistor. So same as the previous activity, this line stands for volt as voltmeter, and this line stands for current as emitter. So this line must be connected in series, and this line must be connected in parallel. So this one must be connected parallel. So I put it here. Then this one I put it here to the capacitor. Then this one I connect it to this one. And this through the AC source and yeah the ground we connected to AC source so yeah this is our activity 3 circuit with capacitor in series connection with resistor so for this activity 
we know that we must find the reactive power from the circle so we just change the watt meter into reactive power PA okay the, then so we got our circuit then we try to run our circuit for the first value 210 resistor and 2 microfarad for capacitor then we got our value 6.23 VA for the first value so yeah thank you